The Voice is back on NBC with season 23 as it follows a group of aspiring singers battling it out for a place on one of the all-star coaches' teams. Viewers are in the midst of The Voice's blind audition stage, where things got a little tense between coaches Blake Shelton and Kelly Clarkson after her tactics on Monday night's episode. Monday night's installment of The Voice saw Laura Littleton from Tennessee take to the stage in a bid to make at least one of the coaches turn their chair. Littleton performed her take on Harry Styles' song Sign of the Times. Her audition was so good it resulted in three out of the four coaches, Niall Horan, Kelly Clarkson, and Blake Shelton, pressing their buttons to turn for her. However, Clarkson blocked her co-star Shelton from snagging the singer, who stood up and yelled, that is bulk P. Following the use of her block, Clarkson apologized to Shelton, admitting she wished she actually blocked Horan. Littleton then made Claxon feel even worse after she praised Shelton for his role in creating the voice ahead of his departure at the end of this season. The singer said, I'm so honored that I get to be here for your step away. Getting to be part of this process from the very start to the very end right now. Whether someone gets a chair turn or not you walk away from this a better person, more confident. So I am so thankful for that. Hiding behind her blazer, Clarkson could be seen cringing as she said, Now I feel really horrible for stealing that chance from him. In a response to Littleton's sweet speech, Shelton said, I wish I could take credit for creating this. I've been along for the ride also so that's very nice of you to say you are being humble, Clarkson agreed. You're the king of the voice. You've been here since the beginning. You're a big reason why this show is popular. The stronger singer added. After all the drama, Littleton eventually opted to join the former One Direction stars team. The judges were not the only ones impressed by Littleton's audition, as fans took to Twitter to praise the singer. One fan at Tom O'Brien's wrote, She did so amazing. I really hope that Harry sees this and I'm so excited for her to be on hashtag Team Neil. At Madonna 196 added, the young lady who sang that beautiful song in her own language had a gorgeous voice too. I can't understand how she didn't get one chair turn. A third at Cherry Suckers 19 commented, she has a beautiful voice and the song choice was perfect. She picked the right person hashtag team Neil another at Ricky's 88 said, I love her. I just know that Neil and Laura is gonna have so much fun together hashtag team Neil with little disroches adding, she was absolutely delightful. What a fun, kind soul. Before she took the stage, Laura shared that music helped her when she dealt with depression after her friends moved away from her small town. She revealed, music was a friend when I needed one. The Voice USA continues Mondays and Tuesday on NBC in the US.